here is a short lesson on septic systems. Everything looks good from above ground, but a different story could be lurking below. Without proper maintenance, repairing your septic system could cost you a fortune. Wastewater flows into your drain field pipes. Before long, hard pan soil forms, which is what happens when sodium mixes with your soil, stopping wastewater drainage and airflow. Sodium comes from our bathwater, the foods we eat, soaps, shampoos, detergents and cleaning products. It also comes from water softeners. Every home with a septic system usually has a water softener. The average home with a water softener puts 55 pounds of sodium into the soil every year. Without intervention of hard pan soil, biomat forms, which is actually a symptom of the failure. Biomat creates a gas that breaks down concrete distribution boxes to the point where they need to be replaced. As we stated earlier, repairing your septic system could cost you a fortune. The best way to prevent damage to your septic system is with regular septic system maintenance. Have your septic system pumped and inspected every two years. Hydrojet and pump your system every five years. Apply septic drainer and bioseptic boost regularly to keep your septic system running like new. Add one gallon of septic drainer every three to six months and two and a half ounces of bioseptic boost every month. You can do this by simply pouring them into any toilet connected to your system. Sometimes, when the system is just overcome with hard pan and biomat, it simply stops working altogether. You may see a murky pool of liquid on the surface of the ground above your tank or D-box. This is evidence that the drain field has failed. But hope is not lost. 90% of the time, the leach field can be rejuvenated. Begin by inspecting the D-box. If it's breaking apart and not working, replace it with a new one. Have the drain lines hydrojetted while suctioning the effluent from the D-box. Pop out the septic tank and the distribution box. Apply septic drainer evenly and directly into the drain lines from inside the D-box. One gallon for each lateral, followed by one gallon of water to push it down the drain. Use a 10-foot section of garden hose and a funnel. Pour 16 ounces of bioseptic boost into the tank or toilet. Perform regular maintenance to the system. Apply septic drainer and bioseptic boost regularly to keep your septic system running like new. Add one gallon of septic drainer every three to six months and two and a half ounces of bioseptic boost every month. You can do this by simply pouring them into any toilet connected to your system. Proper system maintenance with septic drainer and bioseptic boost can keep your septic system operating the way it was meant to and it has been shown to extend the life of a system indefinitely. Septic Drainer, it really works.